Well, they can't talk to us because basically, like I just mentioned, we're just we're either too busy to focus our, uh, our minds on that type of communication. Uh, maybe a hundred, two hundred years ago, when you didn't have TV, you didn't have you know all this this outside stimulus going on. It might have been a lot easier. But now people's minds are, are much more busy all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, actually, the easiest way for them to come to us is through dreams, and that's when our mind settles down. Um, and, and they'll be able to touch in a little bit better as opposed to regular in the middle of the working day. Hmm. Do you believe when people say that suddenly there's uh, maybe some pennies in an area or, you know, something's moved, that that is a spirit working? Can they, can they contact you that way? Yeah, that, that's, one of the, that's a very common. There, there, are, there, there are like 20 or 30 or 40 different ways that they can connect with us uh, for science. And, and one of the most common ones is the fact objects, and a lot of people see it with coins. Mm-hmm. And if it's a repeating event, and you, you've asked for a sign, and you associate it with it, and it keeps happening, that's a good, that's a good chance that it is a, a connection from your loved one. Uh, my, my friend is getting text messages. Her deceased brother is coming up on her cell phone. She actually uh, deleted his number from her phone, but it's still coming up. And it's always at a very meaningful time. Have you ever heard of anything like that? His name will pop up like he's sending a text message. Well, they're very good with uh, technology. They're very good with electronics. Um, they can flash lights. Wow. Um, they can, um, all of a sudden, the radio can go on things like that. And, and in the last 10 years, I've, I've heard a lot more about people's uh, having some type of connection with a cell phone. Now, you said it's also at an appropriate time. Yes, so that, always. That also, that ties it into more of a coincidence or maybe a malfunction. Some people will have uh, a connection at a specific time every day, sometime in the middle of the night. They'll wake up and, you know, they'll see it on the clock. And for some reason, it'll be like 312 and it'll keep waking up to 312. And that number will have some type of uh, association with the person who had passed, maybe a birthday or maybe that a particular uh, a date or time or something like that. Oh, that's what, what, what if you have never um, experienced any of this? Is, is there something wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, when someone passes over, they, they go through a whole process of finding out if a sign is going to be sent, when it will be sent. Uh, and there are many reasons why people don't get signed. Sometimes... Uh, they feel like the person might be um, uh, scared, and they, and they don't want to disrupt someone on this side. Other times, some people may not really believe, and they might figure if they send a sign, it's just going to be, you know, just be pushed off. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and some people are not emotionally ready for it if it, if they're still going through the grieving process. Great. JoeHiggins.com, they can buy your books through there, through Amazon for sure, right, Joe? Yep, and they can see what's going on, upcoming books, and uh, some places I'm going to be teaching and things like that. All right. Great talking to you. Joe Higgins, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me on.